Hi, I'm musician First Class Justin Juarez with the United States Navy Band, and I'm thrilled that you decided to play the trumpet. We're going to start today with our first lesson. If we follow a couple of easy steps, we'll be playing whatever we want in no time. Before we start, we'll need some things. We'll need a music stand, a mirror, a metronome, our mouthpiece, and trumpet. At any time during the lesson you need more practice, pause the video. Do a couple more practice sets. To play the trumpet well, we're going to have to learn to control our breathing. So set your metronome at 80. Sit tall in your chair. We're going to breathe in for four counts and out for four counts. Here we go. And in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Easy. Let's do it again. And in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Great. Let's put our hand in front of our face. We're going to try and blow cold air onto the palm of our hand. We're also going to go in for four clicks, but blowing out with a steady airstream for eight. Here we go. In, two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Let's see if we can't go to 12. Remember, blow directly onto the palm of your hand with nice, steady, cold air. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did you make it? Practice and see if you can go longer distances. Sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. Good luck! With a trumpet case on the floor, set it so you can pull the latches up towards you. Go ahead and open it up and grab your trumpet mouthpiece. When we hold our mouthpiece, we're going to hold it at the very bottom of what we call the shank, with only two fingers pinched between our thumb. We're going to go in for four counts, breathing, and out for 12. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, freeze. Keep your face still. Place the mouthpiece into the center of where you're blowing. It should be nice and comfortable, balanced about 50 on your top lip, maybe 50 on your bottom lip. Whatever feels great. Keep it there. Breathe in around the mouthpiece, and let's blow through the mouthpiece now for eight counts. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Listen to the air. It should sound like a rush of energy, not a lazy stream. Listen to the differences. Lazy. Rush. Lazy. Rush. Notice the corners of my mouth to see if yours look like that too. Repeat the in and out breathing exercises of 4 and 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, until you're able to keep the air steady. Steady air is a steady sound. All right, trumpet time, kind of. Check it out first. We've got a bell, three valves that will number one, two, three, in that order. Slides that are connected to each valve. There's a place to put in our mouthpiece. Let's go ahead and do that and make sure it's snug so it doesn't fall out. See the big curved part on the front? We'll call that a tuning slide. Let's go ahead and remove it and set it on the music stand. To hold the trumpet, we'll use our left hand. Put your thumb in the U-shaped handle on the first valve slide if you have one, and your ring finger in the ring. Wrap the rest of your fingers around the valve casing. Depending on the size of your hand, your pinky can go above or below that third valve slide. Shake out your right hand. Create a natural curve. Set the index finger on one, middle on two, and ring on three. The pinky can go ahead and rest on top of the hook for now. Place your thumb in between the first and second valves below the pipe. Let's raise the trumpet up with our elbows angled like the roof of a house. And we'll put the mouthpiece where we had it before. Check in your mirror to see if it's in the same place. 
We'll perform the same set of air exercises we did with mouthpiece. I promise, you're almost there. Let's go in for four and out for eight with a rush of air. If sound comes out, great. Keep it going to the end of your eighth count. If not, speed up your air, making it colder and colder and colder until the lips catch a vibration. In, two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Do it several more times, striving to keep a really steady tone, no wobbling, and try and make it to our added counts of 12, 16, 24. How long can you go? Master that yet? Great. Next, let's make our lead pipe sound. Cold air. Then, as we're blowing, we will warm it up. The sound should go down. Try it. Now that you can make the sound go down, let's try and make it go right back up. Do this a whole bunch. See how good you can get at it. Trumpet time. The main slide goes back into the trumpet. Be gentle, don't force it. It should go right in there easily if you line it up straight. Ask an adult for help if you need. Okay, go time. Same thing as before. Arms like a roof. Place the mouthpiece so that you look pro. Breathe in for four and out for eight. Hold a steady sound all the way through. In. Out. Did it work? If not, try again. There are two possible sounds that you could get. A high one, or a low one. Try for the higher one if possible. Remember that it takes colder air to produce higher notes. Practice this multiple times until you're a master at it. Then experiment playing the high one and the low one for our extended counts of eight, 12, 16. Remember to keep your air steady and your sound steady all the way through the end of your counts. All right, one last thing to do. Fingers. There are seven different combinations that we can use to produce every note on the trumpet that we need to play anything that we want. Mastery of this and memorization of the different combinations is crucial. Follow along with me for them. This is the first one. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you go backwards? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Forwards and backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. When you're really, and I mean really good at your air and steady sounds and really good at your fingers, the final step is to add them all together like this. All right, that's it for our first lesson. Hopefully you were able to do all of those things. If not, really, it's okay. Everyone has their own speed of learning. Think about how long it takes a baby to learn to walk. They stand up, they fall down. They stand up, they fall down. They stand up, they fall down. Eventually, they don't fall, and they take a step. Maybe two, but then they fall. Baby doesn't really care. Baby doesn't stop trying. It eventually walks, just like everyone else. Nobody cares how long it took for the baby to walk. No one walks around asking, so when did you start walking? Just like the trumpet. Keep working at it with a positive attitude, and you'll be playing tunes in no time.